my channel and this video. Today I'm going to show you two different ways that I use my curling iron to get waves. One of the waves I do is going to be a little bit of a softer wave and then the second one I do is going to be your BT wave. For both waves, I am going to be using a one and a half inch curling iron. This is just a Revlon curling iron and it only cost me about $20 at Walgreens. Y'all know me, I love a bargain. <laughs> I am also cheap. <laughs> so this is great for me, I love this. Um, I actually have really thin and fine hair. I went to sleep on it wet last night and this is just kind of how it dried. It's just, it doesn't know if it wants to be straight or if it wants to be curly, but it's really like smooth and fine and kind of thin, but I can still use this thick of a curling iron and it works great. You can use any kind of wand or curling iron that you want for this, but I'm just gonna show you how I use a regular curling iron. I do use a wand sometimes, but I do prefer my one and a half inch curling iron. First thing I'm gonna do is spray a heat protectant in my hair. I love the Redken Iron Shape 11 spray. It smells so good, and it actually has a little bit of hold in it. It's meant for straightening your hair, but it works just as great when you're curling your hair. So I'm just gonna spray this through my hair. And it dries pretty fast. After I spray it, I'm gonna brush it through my hair to make sure that it's like evenly coating all the areas. And I've linked this spray below in the description so you can have a link to it. It's about 16 to 20 dollars depending on the location you buy it at. I get it at my salon here in Knoxville. So like I said, this first look I'm gonna do is like a softer wave. This is probably my go-to look whenever I curl my hair. It's really easy and simple. So I'll take a chunk of my hair about this big and I'll go down, but leave a little bit at the end. I like the ends to be straight. Oops. And then I'm gonna curl away from my face. I always do the front pieces away from my face, but with this look, I do alternate curl directions. So I'll hold it for a couple seconds and then I'm actually going to let go of that first one and you see how it's twisted there? I'm going to twist it back up so it's twisted kind of twice but this just gets that curl to stay a little closer to your head and that wave. Now you'll also know I'm over directing which means I'm kind of pulling it away from my head. This is just going to give me a little bit more volume when curling my hair. Okay, so I'm gonna let that go out then and you can see how that curl just stays a little further up since I twist it like that then for the next one I will actually curl toward my face and then I'll just go back and forth I'm gonna show you this one again close up so you can understand how I do the twisty thing and then I'll fast forward through the rest of it okay so I'm gonna let go of that first curl but see how it's still twisted and then twist it back up. And I guess I'm holding for about 15 seconds on each curl, but I mean, sometimes I go even faster than that. This doesn't take very long. All right, and there you go. You can see how it's twisted up there. And then this next one, I'm gonna go back and so forth, alternating the curls. side of my head this side I have a little less hair on since I part it to this side I'm just gonna let this side cool while I move on to the next side of my head 
And I always do the first front couple front pieces on this side away from my face. I'll go ahead and show you guys what I do. I just run my hands through my fingers a little bit. I mean, I run my finger through my hair a little bit. And you'll see how it kind of gives just like a softer wave. It's like a little bit more subtle. And I really like that. This is my go-to look. This is what I'm usually doing with my hair. I kind of like it. It's like just natural. And this is a really easy look. So I'm going to go ahead and do that to this side. And like I said, that heat protectant spray already has um, a little bit of hold in it. So it's going to hold your hair. I'm going to shake it out just a little bit. And normally what I would do is just, I really like this messy look. I would just kind of take my regular hairspray, whatever hairspray you use, and just spray it over lightly and just leave it like that. Sometimes I don't even have to do that because this spray does have a pretty good hold to it. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what it looks like side to side. So yeah, this is one of my go-to looks. Now the other wave you can do on top of this wave or you can do all of your hair like this way I'm about to show you. Um, it looks great both ways, and it's also really easy. This is gonna be more of your beachy waves. To get this kind of look, you're gonna take smaller sections of your hair, and again, I always do away from my face at these front pieces, and I open my curling iron. This is a really good look to do with the wand, but I love this curling iron, so I'm just I just always use it. And I'll go around, and I'll twist my hair as I twist it I'll twist my hair as I twist it around the curling iron. Hold it for just a second because it's a small piece of hair. And you can see how it kind of gives you like a little wave like that. If you're using these smaller pieces of your hair, it's going to give more of like a beachy look. And like I said, I'll alternate which curl directions. I'm twisting it around the hair. Okay, and you can see that's just a different look, kind of looking wave. It's a little harder, but it's a beachier wave. It's not as soft as these other ones.
how the waves kind of go a little further up. They're a little bit funkier looking and this one's just kind of softer and they stay down at the bottom. And of course these are gonna loosen up as the day goes on. These kind of stay the same amount of stiffness, if you can see. It's not a huge difference, but to me this is like a beachier wave look. And to let it stay than compared to this one. To make it stay, I always use Not Your Mother's Beach Babes um, Soft Wave Salt Spray. This has a good hold to it. It smells like bananas. It's like $4 to Target, and I will tag a link to it below. What I'll do is I never brush my fingers through this kind of wave. I'll just kind of hold it out like this and spray a little bit. This like spray reminds me so much of the beach. It makes me feel like I'm just like laying laying out in the sun by the pool I'm trying to make sure I get those under ones and I hold it out like that so I'll get a little bit more of volume I kind of want to add like another little bitty wave here and you can always go back and touch up whatever areas you feel like need to be Perfect. Okay. So you can see the difference between this softer wave and this beachier wave. Either one is a really easy look. I really like both. Both are actually good for a night out or whatever you're doing. Um, I always wear this one if I'm at the beach, obviously. I'm going to do the other side so you can see what it looks like full head. But they're both really easy looks and not too time consuming. So I'll show you guys what this looks like with my full head in just a moment. Okay, so now I am done with the other side. I kind of just sprayed it the exact same way I did. The and now I'm done with my hair. You can see how this is a little bit beachier, a little bit sexier and messier, and not quite as soft as that first look I saw you. While both of those looks are similar, you can also see the differences. So I hope that this video helped you learn two different ways to use your curling iron. You don't have to have the most expensive curling iron or hair products to get this look. And it's really easy. It really only takes me about 10 minutes per look. If you enjoyed this video and learned something, make sure to like it and subscribe to my channel, please. I appreciate all of you guys who subscribe. It means so much to me. Thank you guys again for watching and tuning in. And